The bustling multicultural district of Spark Hill is home for two particularly strong communities, Christian and Muslim. Dr Andrew Smith runs a scripture union project which aims to involve and challenge young members of both faiths. Youth Encounter is a project set up to do two things. One is to help Christian and Muslim young people get together and meet, and the other is to help churches think about how they're equipping Christian teenagers to live out their faith amongst their Muslim friends. So in a way, Youth Encounter is about making friendships. It's about making friendships, it's about crossing those divides, but it's about having that explicit faith dimension that says, we're actually going to wrestle with being Christians and Muslims together, living as neighbours. Hey, Leisure activities play an important part in the getting to know you process. Good shot. So away from the bowling, uh, what's the best thing about being part of this project? The best thing about being part of this project is getting to know new people, getting to find out about different faiths, and basically just having fun. Simi, you're a, a Christian, right? And do you find you've got a lot in common with uh, your Muslim friends as well? Uh, yeah, 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 we have a laugh, you know, so it's good to have a laugh with people that you have stuff in common with. To actually be rooted in a local area and say, can we help Christians and Muslims in one small locality work out how to live together? Um, and we've seen that happen, people actually meeting each other, going shopping together, actually able to do this. And in a city that has big Christian and big Muslim communities, along with um, many other faith groups, but say actually we can make this happen in reality on the ground. What do you get out of um, an evening like this, apart from the bowling? Uh, it usually gives you a chance to um, mingle with the other faiths and realise that they're not really much different from you and you share the same interests normally. Before this, I didn't really talk to Muslims that much, but now I kind of talk to them a lot more because, well, we're, we're all the same, really. It's great because some Christian Muslim dialogue event, there's a lot of nervousness. Can we say this? Can we say that? Teenagers just say it, and it's very refreshing. I remember one of the very first ones I did, and these girls were sitting there, and I happened to overhear as one of the Christians turned to the Muslims and asked a question which I'm sure many Christians want to ask. She just said, you know when you're all veiled up and you only see the eyes, how do you recognise each other? And the Muslim girl didn't get offended, didn't get upset, just went, oh, you just re recognise the eyebrows, it's not a problem. And then they carried on talking about EastEnders. What I found out is um, that Islam and Christianity have both got similarities, right? Me being a Muslim and um, someone else being a Christian, right, I, I never knew that I could be friends with them. Oi! Well played! It's all about being nice to people, really, I suppose. Yeah, it's not, not difficult, really, is it? No, not really. There's a, a bit in the Bible that says, don't despise the day of the small things. And I think some of the things we do are very small. But what I've learned is actually if you have just a very small number, like maybe eight Christians and eight Muslims, they go away much more impacted than if you have a big event. And so to say, actually, in this area, with these kids, it's going to change. And I've seen it change. A lad recently, I was told afterwards, he came to the day saying, and that when he went home, he said to his teacher, before today, I didn't know whether I could be friends with a Christian. Now I know that I can be. But that'll do for me. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower Night, a candle glow. 